to be considered English 101 level. If you get a 70 or above in the reading and an 80 or above in the writing sentences, then you test into English 101. You have to test out of both. So everyone's gonna take at least one. Everything you've done for those six months, let's see, it'd be like September, October. Um, the question will just be, you know, how prepared you feel for the testable choice testing that week. Just dealing with the test anxiety and, and multiple choice and that kind of stuff. Okay, so with the completion certificate, here's the major assignments. The narrative essay, uh, the poster, and the oral presentation. So those are all the major assignments. I would suggest you get all of those done if you want the completion certificate. So everybody got a list of what they've missed so far, but I just want to remind everybody that there's all this stuff to keep track of too. And if you're concerned about anything or you lost the list of assignments you need to make up, just let me know. Okay. Um, so then what we're going to do is everyone's going to get a computer and we're going to get our academic journal articles. <laughs> 16. Okay. Victoria's 18. Victoria's 18. <laughs> <laughs> for college and the professors are not going to you know be lightly on us like be easy on us because um, I personally came from a, a GED program and wow totally different um, so I'm glad that I did this and I'm glad that I'm still doing it um, she has taught us a lot yes she's no joke okay. I've, I've gotten more confident with her as a teacher I think she's a good instructor you know Definitely has been an eye opener for me as far as um, learning more about what college is about. What I find with it is that she's teaching us how to be more organized. Um, she's teaching us how to think out of the box. Um, my math has improved a great amount. I can't say it hasn't. I think she's really good with that. I like the way the program is set up. It does move at a quick pace, yes, but like she says, we have to work like we're in a college we live, classroom. We have to be living in... Well, um, and to give up things. It's okay to give up TV. It's okay to go out on Friday, to stop going out on Friday nights. It's okay to tell your friends you can't because, you know, you have to do homework. That's one thing I learned, that whenever I want to say something to my family or my friends, I blame Amy. My teacher said no. She said, we have to do this, so... We have to learn to moan, and I think we have learned how to moan, giving up TV and other things, and dedicate ourselves to school. This is the first time that I'm taking classes here, here in the United States. Um, I have to confess that I was really afraid because English is not my first language, and this is the first year for me living here in the United States. But after I met Amy, it was like the things were more easier for me. She's the one who inspired me to, 
to keep going, even if I have a lot of problems. Uh, we all have problems, different, you know, we come from different backgrounds. But um, I'm really glad to be, you know, to be in this class, to be part of, of the students. I started with the bridge class with Amy, and now I'm into transition to college. We're almost over. And I'm very grateful for Amy. She's a good teacher, very good teacher. And also my students, all the classmates, they're wonderful people. You know? I was going to drop out one time because I didn't like the way the class, things that were going on. But I'm glad I changed my mind and I stood with the program. I recommend this program to anybody. And when I, when I was introduced to Aaliyah, Aaliyah was the one that recommended this program to me and it turned out to be perfect because it's opened my eyes to being prepared to face mm -hmm. those challenges in the class. Because if it wasn't for this program now, I'm pretty sure I would have dropped out. I wouldn't even know what a bibliography was. Thank you. Or oh, what oh, algebra. Perfect. Or um, yeah, the word really identify. Very, very <laughs> I, did, I did not know that what that meant. I know A, B, C computer equals skills. D. Computer <laughs> skills, yeah. Really, and I knew algebra. A, B, and C equals D. That's what I thought. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. we're almost over the hill. Oh, over we're almost there. A couple of more weeks and it's all over. And Katie, one of our younger students here. Oh, yeah. Here. <laughs> Hi Mary, hi Aaliyah, hi Amy, um, you saw the other one. Um, I just want to say this is an awesome class. Um, I feel pretty good and happy that um, one of my coworkers at my job offered, like, announced this program to me because I really needed this to like refresh my memory and actually pretty good to make new friends, a good class. All, all of us get along, and it's a good way to start um, whatever career anybody wants to do. And, yeah. and you're the baby of the bunch. Yeah, the baby. Between Elia, Mary, Amy. And Amy. Yeah, absolutely. It's one more missing. They're, they're a really good support group. Very, very good. I have here a paper. This is not a super assignment, but it's for, for Amy. Gracias, Amy.